Hi, I'm Barb Ford. I'm a solar cooking enthusiast. Um, I do some workshops at North East Street City Farm and love to show people how easy it is to cook just with power from the sun. A parabola is a special shape that reflects all incoming light to a focus. Right? So all the sunlight coming into that dish reflects to that point and heats up this pot almost as fast as a gas stove when the sun's nice and strong and, and overhead. Always cook in a black pot because black absorbs the heat. This is a box box cooker. You put your, so this is an insulated box painted black on the inside. It's hot metal in there. Um, a piece of glass on top which acts like a, which acts as a greenhouse. And then we have a, a reflector and you can see that you can adjust the reflector so that the maximum, can you see that? Is that a mirror? This is a mirror, yep. So you can see as you adjust that, you can adjust it to get the maximum amount of... Okay, are you picking that up? Yep, so you can okay. see the sun in there. Yep, so that you can get the maximum amount of, of light reflecting into the box. Um, and this, this is like an oven. So it cooks, it cooks slowly. It takes a while to heat up like an oven does, and then it will cook. Um, this one will reach a temperature of about 110, 120 degrees, which is plenty to cook slowly. Better designed or bigger ones. Um, in fact, I've got a cardboard one at home that reaches 140 degrees. So, um, but, but you, can cook, you can cook slowly. How hard are, would, would they be to make yourself? Oh, very easy. I've made, uh, I've made two comparable size to this and this one uh, pizza box mm -hmm. all right a bit cut out of the lid with some shiny uh, aluminium builders tape put on it the hole filled with some plastic you can put double layer of plastic on if you like I put a bit of extra cardboard round for extra insulation and on the bottom a bit of an old uh, top of an old washing machine painted black to absorb some extra heat. A cake tin cut in half. This one, of course, doesn't get much heat into it, so it won't cook much. This is really just a toy and a demonstration, but I've cooked some little quiches in it quite successfully. So... Does it matter about the size of these heaters? Are they larger, they, are they better? Well, if you think that um, solar insulation, that's the amount of energy coming from the sun, if it's hitting directly on the on a surface, um, especially when the sun's high and not getting much interference, one kilowatt per square meter. So the bigger it is, the more energy it'll get. So the more, the faster it'll cook. Uh -huh. right. So that dish, um, that, so it's a one meter diameter. So the area is something between seven and eight hundred point seven point eight of a square meter. So that's getting. Seven to eight hundred watts in the middle there. Oh, okay. Right. And it's starting to steam already. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, yeah that's boiling. That's un that's unbelievable. Yeah, you get a rolling boil out of that. I would have thought it'd take all day to cook something up in solar. No, it's um usually you work on around about twice what you'd cook in a regular stove. Um, but this is yeah around about twice, but. You can improve it if you've got a really good design and a really good day, roughly twice. This one is called a panel cooker. Um, so it, it works on the same principle, black cooking pot, greenhouse, which is just a, an oven bag. Mm -hmm. You can use an ordinary plastic bag, um, but it doesn't last as long, it tends to melt. And then a, a reflector, there are lots of different uh, styles and designs but if you um if you actually get back you can see reflected one two three four five six seven eight eight reflections of this if you mm -hmm. come out of the right direction so that means eight suns are reflecting on that right. is so, that eight times the power then yes yeah, of okay so if you leave this just sitting in the sun it will get hot right if you put it in the reflector like if you leave that sitting in the sun like that it will get hot Mm -hmm. right? If you put it there with the reflector, it will get hot eight times faster, roughly. Gee, looks very easy to make. Oh, it is. 
This is just um, core flute, which is what election posters are made of, and I can't think of a better use for your old election poster. Um, and the shiny stuff I've got is mylar, which you just get from art supply shops. It's a plastic, plastic silver thing and that's sticky on the back. Um, but I've, I've made them with cardboard and aluminium foil. Um, works well too. Basically, the shinier the better, because the better it reflects, the, be the more energy you get to heat it up. And what sort of food can you cook in it? Virtually anything. Um, you know, I, I cook, um, you know, dampers, cakes, um, stews, egg, you know, egg dishes. The only thing that you can't really cook is things that require a very high temperature, like a pizza. coming out of there. One damper. Wow. Perfect. Yeah, that smells really nice. Yep. The thing you've got to remember is that this is very hot, so you do need to be... You need sunglasses and you need good um, pot holders when you do this because it's, even though it looks simple, it's very, very hot. Dinner! Dinner's on, everybody!